Look, if after today, the pictures you take when you're in a suit are not as fly and as crazy as you see on those Instagram models pages, <laughs> hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. Join the family and let's learn together. Hi, Tafu Kabo once again. In today's video, we're going to look at some simple tips, poses, tips, poses, tips, and poses. So that whenever you are taking your, your picture, whether for matriculation, whether for graduation, or whether you are just taking overall suit poses, they are going to look as amazing and as, as awesome as possible. And today, I'm working with someone here once again, our, our channel. Our channel model. <laughs> yeah, Charlie. Yeah. So I'll drop his Instagram in the bio. Make sure you check him, check him out. Like he does very well. I'm sure like right now he's 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 there. Like he's he's there. He's there when it comes to poses. Alright. But before we start, please hit the thumbs up button because I can tell you that you're gonna really enjoy this video. Yeah. Now, whenever you're about to shoot shoot photography or when, whenever you're gonna take pictures in a suit, there are two things that should come into your mind. Am I doing it for the professional um, suit scene or I'm doing it for maybe lifestyle or I'm doing it for you know um, a, a, a more casual look all right that should be your first thing because whichever one you are going with um, then the kind of poses that you want to be doing will, will change for instance if I'm doing it for professional suit I'm, I'm going to go with more um, serious looking faces can you give us some serious looking faces exactly but if I'm doing it for um, like casual look I'm going to go a little bit more relaxed okay so I'm going to have some smiles I mean like you can still have smiles in professional look but then I just, you just have to get that concept to your mind first. And then before that, let's look at some tips. These tips are very important. One of the most important parts when it comes to shoot is having something to do with your hand. You have to give your hand something to do with. It could be either holding, holding your watch, playing with your watch, playing with a beat, your glasses if you are in one, or even maybe um, holding your buttons or you just have to give your hand something to do. Whether it could be putting your hands in your pocket or anything you just have to make sure you find um, something for your hands to do and then finally make sure you know your angles so the first angle is the angle to the camera facing the camera directly then we also have our left 45 and also our right 45 yeah these three angles with the tips and the poses should get you fly i mean like fly also you should know which part of your body the photographer is shooting for instance if i'm taking a picture of his upper body just this part for that areas all you have to focus about is the facial expressions but if i'm taking a picture of his maybe halfway somewhere here then he will focus maybe about his expressions and then his hands and then yeah but if i'm taking a full body shot then he has to focus all his um, he has to pose everything from the all the way from the leg up to the top so with our very first pose i'll call this one hand in jacket just simple hand in jacket i mean sure has hands in jacket more more like you are putting something into your your jacket the inner the inner the inner pocket or taking something out of it all right i think i think this goes with a very simple right but let's, let's look at how, how it goes sammy can you demonstrate that for us hands in the jacket very good exactly face the camera so you see he's showing us this i see you're taking something from the jacket the pictures you get from this are just amazing let's get some shots and let's see what happens Pose number two. So number two, it's um, I call this one props. Working with props. So this one, we are going to get something, something to work with. It could be your sunglasses, like in someone's case here. It could be your watch. It could be a newspaper. It could be anything that you are reading. It could be don't touch your belt. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you could touch your belt. Okay. It could be anything that you have in, in hand. It could be your phone or anything. Anything that you can work around with. So let's look at some shots that we can get. We're going to try with a watch, with a um, with this. Same was this. With the foul, with the foul and with the glasses. All right, so someone let's go.
So the third pose is closing your button. Like I am closing my button. Sami, like we are closing our button. This alone is um, a good enough pose for you to get many shots. Combine that with the three angles, your front facing, left 45, right 45. Let's give us some shots. Let's see how it goes. What are you scared of? Take off the jacket. That's the final pose for today. Here, you should feel free to be able to play with the jacket, either in our hand or even in an attempt to take it off. That, that would be a pose. Like anything that you think about that's natural can be a pose. Let's get some shots. So we're going to have this concept as one. So you can have this standing, you can have this with a walking, and you can have this in your hand. In your hand, folded and nicely placed in your hand. That's a very nice shot. All right, so let's get to that. So I realized that I didn't talk about how to do the pose where you come in like you are walking and you give off that nice um, um, look that someone has been giving us. So let's look at how to get that one done. So to get that kind of pose, the first thing you have to know is that the leg in front and the leg behind. At the end of the day, we want to make sure we are in this kind of position, okay? Something like this. This is the position you want to end up in, all right? So make sure the leg that is in front, this one, is straight, this straight. And the leg that is in back, at the back has Something like on the tiptoe, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on my, my, how do you call that part? Tiptoe, right? So like I have this, then like you are in this pose, or I am this, I'm in this pose. You can also go with this part coming up like this, so that it becomes very okay. But the concept is, this front, this one bent on the tiptoe, so I can just coil up like this, I can just coil up, and then you see, it's already like that. Or I can come this way, I can coil up like that and then I'm like that, okay? So make sure this one is straight and this one is at the back and it's a little bit bent. So if you just try it, trust me, you feel it. So you just go, you practice and then you get used to it. I can come this way and I'm there. I can come this way and I'm there. Whichever one you go with, you're going to get something amazing. Someone should just give us some two demonstrations. We go first one like so and then he's there, all right? And the other way around, can you go the other way around? He goes something like so exactly and he's there guys thank you so much for sticking to the very end of this video if you did enjoy the video thumbs 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 up thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up check some more out on instagram and i'll catch you in the very next video let's say peace peace